Computing is undergoing some major shifts in technology and its application broadly uh, in areas such as material science and in healthcare and in others. We're really going through this materials revolution where we're using data every day in the challenges and problems and approaches of materials research today. The world of materials is a fantastic place to develop our understanding and, and our techniques and methods of data science. These recent developments of having data available in material science, for us that's an opportunity to drive new developments that push this entire field forward. So NCSA, the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, was formed to fill a void in the availability of computing for researchers in the United States. We're more than a computing center, we're really an interdisciplinary center for exploring and uh, advancing the use of computing to solve problems in uh, sciences, engineering, uh, humanities, uh, as well as working with industry. We've also developed software tools that have helped people manage uh, different kinds of data that they have, and that's helped accelerate the use of data in many fields, including material science. Digimat stands for Data and Informatics Graduate Intern Traineeship in Materials at the Atomic Scale. In this program, we train PhD students at the interface of material science and data science. The thing about NCSA, which makes it a natural home for Digimat, is that it really specializes in interdisciplinary research. You know, a mechanical engineering student is meeting with a statistics student, a computer science student is maybe paired up with a material science student. So they, they form a cohort, and during that cohort experience, which lasts from the first year to the fifth year, they, they do a lot of training together, they do a lot of activities together, social activities um, as well, that gives them a chance to train at this interface. They can take classes that are new classes that haven't been taught before, the newly developed courses. They can you know, hear from experts that work at this interface. So the reason I wanted to get involved in DigiMat was because I was really excited about the potential that machine learning, artificial intelligence have to change how we do materials research. So I work on these incredibly powerful tools, these transmission electron microscopes that can see into a material and look at it atom by atom. This electron microscope is one of only like 140 tools in our materials research laboratory. Um, that are running 24-7 and just collecting these massive piles of data. And as humans, we just have no hope of harnessing all of that, right? So we really need new tools like data science, like machine learning to help us do that. Um, and that's what's really exciting about this program is it's teaching and training students to be able to do that, which I think is the future of materials research. The research of my group is uh, to perform electronic structure simulations and so in one of the outcomes of those simulations is data and uh, for us it's an opportunity to contribute this data to existing databases so other researchers can use it and then in addition we also want to work with experimentalists data and that's again one of the goals of Digimap. I think one of the strengths of the Digimap program is that uh, our PhD students get exposed to industry problems and problems at national labs. They get a, a broader view of what researchers are working on and how their own skills, which they acquire here at the university, can contribute to solve these more challenging and broader problems. We really emphasize internship uh, training. And so students go out and do a graduate level internship with a partner in a company or a national lab that augments and, and supports their graduate training. They get to see really how the tools are being used all across the country um, in real applications, whether that's trying to make a better computer chip, um, doing failure analysis, making sure that a bridge doesn't fail. And that's really valuable for them to integrate what they're learning in the classroom with how an employer might be approaching and utilizing these techniques. We want to train a new generation of students that have skills in, in data science and material science combined and then uh, work with them to drive the field forward. This intersection is, is growing you know, on, the, on the national scene as well. It's an important area for NSF. I think we'll help plant the seeds for a new way of thinking about materials and data science and the, all the partnerships that come out of that. My vision for the future of NCSA is 
to expand the use of advanced computing in all areas of scholarship and looking at how to develop software and tools to make this, these technologies broadly available to scientists and researchers across the country.